you know, I remember when this thing meant something, and people didn't hate you for owning it. Jurassic World Dominion has been on theaters for quite a while now, and I feel like at this point it has been out long enough that I can finally do an in-depth spoiler review for it. Because I feel like pretty much everybody on YouTube and on Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb and Metacritic and everywhere else, they've all pretty much said how they feel about the film, and I think that their response has been pretty much the same answer. It's been one big, fat, gigantic, resounding, no, this movie sucks. And while I think this film is flawed, I'm going to be that one person who goes out on a limb and says, I don't think it's as bad as people are saying. Now, don't get me wrong, by no means is this movie a perfect movie. As a matter of fact, my original rating for this movie was a 7 out of 10. I think after rewatch, I give it a 6 out of 10. But I still think by no means this movie is as bad as people are saying it is. I think this movie has a lot of good ideas in it, and a lot of things that are carried out and executed very well. So, in this spoiler filled review, I will be telling you about all that, and just about the things I liked, about the things I didn't like, so now let's get into it. So just as heads up also, I won't be doing like a play-by-play -play of the movie, I'm just giving you general spoilers from the film of things I want to talk about that I couldn't talk about about my original review, which explains why I feel about this movie the way I feel. So with that said, let's get into the actual spoiler review. So the basic plot of this movie is that the villain, which I couldn't mention who he was or anything about him in the first review, because it was a spoiler, which I can say now, the villain of this movie is Dotson. Dotson from the first Jurassic Park movie. The guy who got turned into a meme. That guy. He's the villain of this movie, and essentially he owns this huge company now, and he is trying to use the genetics to uh, mess with locusts, so that way they'll eat all the crops of all his competitors except his own, so everyone will have to buy from him. That's the major plot of this film. And that is a problem I have with this, because this movie really, it doesn't have much to do with dinosaurs. This movie plays out a lot more, almost like a Mission Impossible meets dinosaurs, where there's kind of like this espionage kind of plot going on. But there's dinosaurs that are in it, and they have scenes. And that is, I think, a problem with it. As a matter of fact, there is a part of the second act of this film where uh, Claire and Owen go to this country, I believe it's like in the Middle East, or like in the Mediterranean, it's kind of like one of those countries. I don't really know where it is. I forgot already. But it literally plays out like a spy film in that part. And it it's the part you see in the trailer where he's driving the motorcycle. But it, it didn't feel right. It felt out of place. And the tone certainly didn't match what was going on in the rest of this movie. Um, so the reason they're actually out there is because Blue has had a baby in this movie. And something else I have to mention, though, is that uh, because of what happened in the last movie in Fallen Kingdom... Dinosaurs are just kind of roaming all around, all over the place, but not in the way the trailer led you to believe. This movie is not dinosaurs on rampage. This movie is very much, oh, there's dinosaurs out in the world. They're kind of like, oh, look, there's a few. Because primarily, Dotson has a sanctuary farm for them, and that's where most of these dinosaurs are. However, um, uh, Blue has a baby, and it's by where Owen and Claire are keeping Maisie, because they're trying to keep her now from being kidnapped. It's like, you know, people you know, to kidnap her now that they know she's a clone. But... Even that soon, her whole thing of Maisie being a clone is retconned in this movie, like, in a very odd way. So, essentially, Baby Blue and Maisie are both kidnapped by these, I guess you could call them rustlers, and they bring them to Dodson because, uh, so, it turns out, this is the thing. So, in my review, I said there was something that, that would happen in this movie, a choice that was made that I just didn't know how I felt about. And it's this. So Maisie was not a clone. She was made by her mother, by her mother using her own DNA to create a child. And she took out all the flaws she had so her daughter would basically be perfect. And if I'm understanding correctly, she also has a slight connection to Baby Blue. Which was... I don't know how to feel about any of that. It's just a very odd choice that they made. And I don't honestly know what to do with it. And so, essentially, um, 
Henry Wu's character in this film, they're essentially trying to redeem him after what they did to him in Fallen Kingdom, and I think they do a decent, serviceable enough job, though I don't really feel like they changed much of anything, because he's also responsible for the locusts in this movie, so, he's, he just, even when they, like, they're leaving the bad guy base, which is kind of like the Jurassic Park escape area in this film, they, Jeff Goldblum sees him, to like, and he wants to get in the helicopter with him, and Jeff Goldblum's like, oh no, 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 not him, every time, like, and it's like, yeah, like, why are we, he's bad guy, like, why is he gonna get away with me, and he just kind of, like, gets away scot-free with everything that he's done, which I think was a little bit odd, but I don't think everything in this film is a huge negative, because I'm gonna talk about a lot of positives now. I think the old characters, particularly Ellie Sattler and Alan Grant, these two I loved. I just wanted more of them. Their little side quest, because essentially what happened was Ian Malcolm has told them, you know, he's working for Dodson now. And he knows that um, uh, Dodson's toying with the genetics and trying to make things that are, like, evil, essentially locusts. So he tells them, you know, hey, I need you guys to get the proof for that. So he invites them over and stuff, and they're on their own mission trying to prove it, and I loved it. And Ellie and him are kind of still in this will-they-won't-they they thing, and in the end, they do get together. It was so much fun to see those two together and they wrote them very well and they were able all three of them to get back into their performances just like they used to in fact i think that jeff goldblum is probably the best part of this entire movie he has some of the best lines together this one line that makes no sense he like rattles something else very jeff goldblum -y, and alan just stands there he's like what and it's just funny he's like what are you talking about this this one where they're trying to drive away from dinosaurs because in the end um the dancers are all just going rampant all over the sanctuary because it starts on fire. Because, okay, this doesn't make sense, but... So Dodson wanted to kill them, so he started the locusts sort of on fire by spraying fire in the room and let them fly, so they kind of dropped on the island and started a fire. I think it was on purpose. I'm not sure, actually. Kind of think of it. But either way, so they're trying to get away from these dinosaurs, and he's speed. They're like, all like, you know, slow down, Ian. He's like, oh, we're fine. Like, the car is up half off a cliff. And they're like, we're okay, right? And he's like, yeah, just everybody kind of, you know, just shift this way a little bit. And the car won't fall. And they'll do it. And they're like, yeah, that's better. And the car, like, rolls down the hill. And as they do it, they're at the bottom. He's kind of like this. And Alan just gives him this look of death, like, you. And it's just, it's funny. I love that. Like, their chemistry, they were all amazing. And they got so much to do in the film. And it was a lot of fun to watch. That I didn't have any problems with. I think it's towards the beginning of the film. We see Claire is actually basically stealing dinosaurs from these so-called sanctuaries to free them and make them safe. That I didn't like. It just made Claire feel kind of like a bad guy almost at first. And I was like, mm. And the opening few scenes, I think, were not acted very well or written as well as they could have been. The scene where Owen and his friends are trying to round up the dinosaurs, I think that was something that I really, really liked a lot. I liked some of the new dinosaurs they had in this movie, and I liked that the dinosaurs were treated oftentimes not so much as monsters, but as actual animals. And that was something I liked. However, this does bring me to another problem I have with this movie. So, this is my opinion, though. This is my opinion. I think what made Jurassic Park the original, one of the best films ever made, is that Jurassic Park, the original, is a character-driven, social commentary horror film with action-adventure in it. It's not a monster film. This felt very much more like a B-monster film at times, and it forgets to do any of that. It does try something with Dotson's character to make him the villain that's very more like like the megala of people we have now, but it kind of fails at that and just comes off with his acting very being very awkward. I kind of compare it to Jesse Eisenberg's acting as Lex Luthor in Batman vs. Superman. That's the closest thing I compare his performance to in here. Just a little strange. Trying to do something different, but it turns out really strange. This movie, I feel like, just forgets that a little bit. I do love, though, the feel of this movie. It has an atmosphere about it and a style that I really like. I just like the way the film looks for the most part. And it did honestly entertain me throughout the entire thing. I really enjoyed the plot of them trying to prove he was bad. And how it dances in the wings into that, but I just felt like that shouldn't have been the main plot. They should have done something else. There is this cool scene when I, I said they're in that Middle Eastern country or whatever, where they're in like this black market area for dinosaurs. There's like a dinosaur cockfight, and I was like, there's like trying to sell dinosaurs. There's one dude sitting with this. He's got like a he's like a like a mercenary. He's got like a brand his head, sunglasses, a cigarette, and this camo. He's sitting where the dinosaur is arm. He's like, 
I was like, that is so cheesy that I love it. Like, there are genuinely some parts of this movie that I think are brilliant. They're really good ideas, but they aren't necessarily played out as well as they can. This whole movie is filled with ideas that look good, but they don't always pan out. The script's a little sloppy because of that. There's this one character, she's this lady's a villain, she's just there just to have a laser pointer from the movie and point it at dinosaurs, so people so dinosaurs can attack them. She just seemed kind of pointless, and I didn't think she needed to be in the movie. The whole segment, I think, in the Middle East could have probably gone. It just really wasn't a, necess a necessity to be in the movie, and it felt like a little bit of a time waster. This film was also a little long and kind of got a little slow. But overall, I'm going to say this movie is not as bad as people say it is. While it is flawed... This movie has enough redeeming quality to me that it should not be sitting at the current score that it has on Rotten Tomatoes. To put into perspective just how ludicrous, how overboard, how extreme the reaction of negativity has been towards this film, in my opinion, I decided to make a list of films on Rotten Tomatoes that have a better score, a better score, which means they're considered better films on that website, the Jurassic World Dominion. DOA, Airplane 2, A View to a Kill, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, Scary Movie 3 and 4, X-Men Origins Wolverine, Transformers Dark of the Moon, Godzilla 1998, Terminator Dark Fate. Maybe it's just me, but I think it's a little bit of a stretch to say that those movies are somehow better than Jurassic World Dominion. I'm just saying there's been so much overwhelming hate towards this movie that I think it deserves a little bit more of a chance. I'm not saying you need to change your opinion, I'm just saying that it disappoints me to see people hate on this film so much. I don't necessarily think this film is bad. I don't think this film is great. I think this film is good. It is a 6 out of 10, like I said, is my new rating. And I think it's worth checking out. I think people should go see it and make up their own minds about it. And don't let the internet convince you. Otherwise, don't let me convince you otherwise of how you feel. With that said, thank you so much as always for watching. And I'll see you guys all next time.